Hi everyone, how's going on? Today in this video, I'll be showing you how you can use Facebook re latest repository about text to music generation. So we'll be seeing all the different ways you can generate the music by using So the repository I'm talking of is this one, which is called Audio Craft from Facebook Research. They already have a Google Collab uh, for you. They have the Hugging Face space for you. But my main uh, goal of this particular video will be to teach you how you can use their code for your own purpose for writing your own Python script. So we'll be looking line by line. I'm going to write the code and going to explain it to you. I'm going to use Google Collab for running the code since my laptop is also not that strong. I be saying that also i'll be putting this particular uh, google collab in down description you can check this out so let's just name this audio and you have to click on connect you have to go to runtime then change runtime type to gpu over here and click on save okay so it has connected successfully as you can see the gpu ram is now available over here first of all we'll have to install this uh, audio craft so just have to say pip install audio craft and hit shift enter now while it is installing uh, i want to show you something uh, so the code over here is like will be inside the audio craft and there is a file called music generator.py over here this one and in this particular file we have a music generator class and we will going to create the object of this music generator class and we will just see in the code now okay so let's just ignore this particular warning over here and just clear the screen over here so first of all, we, uh, as I told you, we will going to initialize this music generator class, which is available in audiocraft.models.musicgen. So let's just import it from audio import. Okay, it has executed successfully. Now we will have to create the model or the object of this music gen class, which we just have imported. Now here is a twist uh, for creating the object. We are not going to directly initialize it instead uh, there is a function inside the music gen class which is called get pretrained so uh, this get pretrained uh, takes the name as the argument and the name could be small medium melody or large so for now we are going to give the model as from pretrained and we'll give name as small for now let's run this particular cell over here and it's going to download some uh, actually not from pretrained actually get pretrained and it is going to download some models in the backend uh, until the time it is loading all the model, let me just tell you uh, the different ways you can generate the music. So it has specified over here uh, inside this music generator class from the object you can actually have generate unconditional and generate and generate with chroma and then you have um, generate continuation. So there are four different ways you can generate the music. Generate unconditional is like it is going to generate randomly. There will be no condition on that. Generate is more of like uh, you're going to give it a prompt to it and it is going to generate the music based on the prompt and generate with chroma uh, is like uh, it has the prompt it has the input music and it is going to uh, add the melody to the input music which you are going to provide inside this melody waves and the description and it is going to uh, create a new music out of it. And uh, the last step, the last method, which is called generate continuation and using the generate continuation, you just provide the prompt and you also provide the description. So uh, this prompt will be the audio file and this description will be a list of um, string, which will going to uh, define the continuation of this particular audio file, which will, which we are going to give using the prompt. So let's just don't uh, mess in over here. Don't worry if you didn't understand anything. Uh, we are going to uh, look at all this line by line. So over here we have downloaded all the models. Now let's see our first one, which is generate unconditional. Generate unconditional over here. And uh, as you can see uh, over here, we can uh, provide the number of samples we want and the progress do we want or not. So, so let's just say number of samples I want two different samples and before you run it uh, there is a one more function to this music generator class which is set generation parameters this is most important uh, you can provide uh, different or you can set different parameters for the generation the duration so you can provide the duration which is default to 30 seconds so i'm just going to change this to model dot set generation parameters and i'm going to set the duration to 10 seconds only now this particular line will going to generate unconditional music 
and the number of uh, music it is going to generate will be two and we will going to store all this music inside the let's just say unconditional uh, variable so it is just going to do it and it is that easy just generating unconditional music by using audio craft now let's just see the other way of generating the music which is generate and this is very simple function again and we are going to store inside the conditional wave and you can see model dot generate and now to this particular generate function we can provide the description which will be the uh, list of string and then you want the progress of generation or not so let's, let's just keep it false but let's just give the descriptions equal to and this time also the number of samples it is going to generate will be the length of the descriptions over here so I want to generate two different samples I'll uh, generate music like flute traditional Indian music and the other one I'm going to give guitar actually let's just say guitar rock electric uh, actually I don't know about the musical instruments and all so I'm just giving uh, random words in my mind and I'm just giving it to the model model dot generate and it is going to generate all the music uh, inside this uh, and going to store all the music inside the conditional wave uh, before continuing to other two different parts so let's just try to listen to how it is able to generate the music so for that we need to save these audio files so for saving actually uh, there is a function inside audio dot uh, I guess data um, let, let me just double check so I'll just go to the file actually I remember it's inside the data yeah it is audio.py and it has a function audio right yes so we'll import it from uh, audiocraft.data.audio import audio right so let's just import it okay so for saving I'm going to use OS also so so let's just first iterate inside the unconditional wave so we are going to say for idx and wave file in uh, unconditional it's just big name let me just copy it unconditional wave and now I'm going to use uh, audio write and audio write should have some parameters so the first parameter is the stem name which is the file name so let's just keep it simple and the file name will be idx and make sure it is without the extension as mentioned over here and the format could be either wave or mp3 so let's just don't touch it and I guess it is already defined over here we have to give the wave file which we want to save so let's just give the wave file over here and anything excerpt we need uh, we need to give the sample rate also so let's just give the sample rate and you can get the sample rate from the model and you can say model dot sample rate similarly I'm going to iterate inside the conditional wave like that and I'm going to save them the problem would be it is going to override so let's just say unconditional and it will be conditional now let's try to run it and we should hopefully have not enough values to unpack oh, obviously we have to provide the enumerate let's try it one more time what's the problem now yeah we have to convert it to the cpu so for that you can say cpu and wave file dot cpu now hopefully it should run okay it has run successfully now in order to uh, display the audio files over here we are going to uh, from ipython dot display import and import audio now we are going to iterate inside the all the songs so we can use os.list directory for that so we can say for i in os.list directory and now we can say if i dot uh, ends with since it will be a string we can have this ends with dot wave then we are going to display that so we are going to say actually let's just first make a print message i then we are going to display the audio file which is display audio and the path to that let's run this okay so we have our uh, two conditional and two unconditional file so let's try to listen to the first conditional which is flute traditional indian music amazing let's try to listen to the uh, second conditional file which is guitar rock electric great now let's try to listen to unconditional one let me just reduce the volume so let's try to listen to unconditional uh, we don't have any control over that let's just see what the model generated So 
we have seen two different ways of generating the music from text to the audio and the unconditional one now let's have a look on other two uh, ones which is generate with chroma and let, let's just get back to the file which is music gen file so let's just go to music gen file over here so that we can see better the code of that so generate with chroma basically as i told you so it is going to have the uh, description as the list of string like what condition we want to apply and the next thing it is going to have the melody waves so on what con uh, on what wave file we want to apply this particular condition generate continuation as it will be uh, easy so it takes the prompt which will be a audio file like that now it can be a multiple audio files or single audio file then the prompt sample rate and then the description which is optional so we are not going to touch it you can actually if you want okay so first of all as you see that it require the audio file so first we'll have to read the audio file similarly uh, similarly we as we imported the audio right we have the audio read function also over here so let's just import it and uh, what do we call it base audio now what you can do is upload your audio file over here now since we already have this audio file so i'm not going to upload any one uh, i'm just going to copy the path of it and we are going to say audio read and it takes the file path and the seek time which is set to default values and yeah we just have to give the file path so let's just provide it over here uh, paste the path over here and we should have our base audio now uh, this is going to return a tuple of the audio wave file and as well as the sample rate so let's just read it over here okay now one thing you have to do is you see over here we have set the model duration equal to 10 seconds and you have to make sure that this base audio uh, is no longer or equal to 10 seconds so you will have to uh, reduce that duration we already know that it, the conditional zero is already 10 seconds so we have to reduce it so let's just say i i just want it to reduce it to let's just say three seconds so for reducing what you can do is base audio equal to base audio since it will be a list so we can actually uh, let me just show you if i just try to print the base audio dot shape also let's just print the sample rate and i just want to show you something okay over here now you see that it is uh 320k and it is 32k and if you divide 320k with 32k then you you are going to get 10 seconds right so each second has 32,000 samples which is called sample rate so uh it is a list First of all, we need everything from the number of rows wise. And now we are going to uh, split first sample rate times duration. I hope it makes sense. Now the updated uh, base audio dot shape will be three seconds, which will be three times 32,000, which is 96,000. That's all. Once you do that, uh, all of your work is now completed. Let's just close this tab. Now let's just get back to our model what it require is the audio file so let's just provide it the audio file now it is going to provide continuation wave is equals to model dot generate continuation like this first it require the prompt so let's just provide the prompt as the base audio and it will require the sample rate also let's just see prompt sample rate let's just provide the prompt sample rate could be sr which is this SR and other than that it requires the description as a list uh, let's just provide it uh, so it is optional you can provide it or not so I'm just going to give it descriptions equal to it will be a list of number of uh, samples in your base audio file so we have just one sample over here so we are just going to provide one condition over here so I am going to provide like sharp flute in the background and now if we run it we should have our continuation wave and for saving also we are just going to follow the same strategy so for saving we can uh, save like zero and the file would be this particular zero h one and sample rate would be model or sample rate whatever the sample rate model is generating now it is going to write and for display let's just use the same but the path would be changed and the path we can get from here which is continuation let's just copy the path paste the path over here and let's try to run it and here is our result let's try to listen to it you 
can see that it has added the flute in the background so the original one first 10 seconds were this one okay so now let's move forward to the last part like how you can generate from the melody actually i don't know what melody i don't have much inform, uh, understanding of music at all but if you know like you can uh, do this stuff over here so generate sample conditioned on text and melody so for melody we will require to change our model type from small to melody model you just have to run it once you make this change over here you will have to read the audio file in the same way we read over here like this and you have to uh, make sure that the model generation length should be greater than the input or uh, wave file duration which we have already seen over here so i'm just going to use this same base audio file now for that uh, it will be same i i'm just going to say melody version will be equal to model dot generate uh, with chroma and now this particular generate with chroma will going to have the descriptions which will be a list of string now now the length of the description should be same as the number of input audio files you want to generate so for our case it's just single key single so the length of the description should also be single so let's just try to give the same prompt like flute in the background and now the next thing it require is melody waves so melody waves will be the same base audio over here and now the last thing it require is the sample rate let's just provide the sample rate as sr all right now you can run this and you should have your melody version also in front of you so let's just follow this same step for saving instead we will call it melody zero and it should be melody version over here and for displaying we are going to show the melody zero wave file okay it has completed successfully and let's try to listen to it Uh, actually you can uh, just get to this particular repository over here and you can get uh, more detailed understanding of all these functions over here like uh, get familiar with the code so for example uh, over here like we have this generate with chroma and over here it has provided uh, all the description about all the parameters you can pass and generate sample condition on text and melody uh, further videos uh, i might try to install it locally and show it to you like i, I don't think it would be much different but if you want i will do that um so i guess it is it for this video i tried my best to follow the code and i guess the documentation in the code which is the comments and that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new and now you can write your own python scripts ask the user for input and you can just provide the output or write the audio file in the local file system or probably you can generate a create a api out of it you can create a application mobile application using that particular api like the possibilities are a lot uh, anyways i tried my best to show you how you can do that if you still have any queries regarding this feel free to ask them i'll end this video over here and we'll see you in the next video till then goodbye